All right, folks, I am in the process of laying down a solo for a recent project, and I just want to kind of show you my process. So I kind of just kind of shoot from the hip, and whatever comes to my head, I'll just lay down. And then once I find a really cool, like, motif or melody or something, and then that's, uh, I start exploring that a little bit more. And sometimes I chop and you know chop things up and copy and paste and do different things, but uh, that's really like a last ditch effort to try and make something work. If I can, I'll play a melody. If it works, then I'll just keep playing it over and over until it feels right, and then I'll just make it. I'll just play the solo correctly the first time instead of um, trying to slice things up too much. So anyway. I'm just going to record and you can see what I do here, okay? Well, I got a pretty gainy right now. Let me turn this down. Alright, here we go. Was it a one one take wonder? I don't know. No, let's listen back. That's crazy. That's not bad. That's a good, you know, first edition. Let's do another pass and see what happens. and just tried something so um, that was interesting let's keep laying down some passes and see what happens Once again, it's it's cool. I'm trying, let me let me think of some melodies here, because I don't want to I don't want to be like too cliche and you know just play a bunch of stuff. So we got. I do like that part. So we got. All right, I like that. So we got.
this is slightly on another path. See what happens. Let's go back and listen back to it. not bad so at this point I've laid down uh, three takes or so and let me swipe this around so you can see what I'm seeing over here so we're gonna do like this and we'll do something like that all right there we go so now if I hit my little command L you can see that I got all my takes right here, okay? So I do like what I did at the beginning. And see what happens if I move this over like that. All right, so now we got all the tracks intact. And I can highlight these and I can delete them. Those are just like pre-solo kind of stuff. All right, so let's just say, for instance, that we got these four takes here. One, two, three, there's really five. All right, so here's the first solo. Let's just play a little bit. All right, so I do like the beginning of that, so check this out. All right, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut it. And then I do like what I played at the end. So check this out. So I could even take this and drag it back a little bit. Okay, so you hear that transition now between... Let me solo it up here so you can see what I'm doing. So we got the beginning part of the of the solo that I played originally. And really your first take is like you're really just shooting from the hip and you're you're just playing from the gut, really. So, you know, a lot you know, a lot I don't like to think about the solo too much because then it starts getting it starts sounding sterile. And robotic and I don't want it to be like that so as much feeling and flavor as you can and that's gonna be the the right solo for the song so let's check this out <laughs> all right so I like that part Two, three, four. So kind of on the end of this measure here. So we're gonna split it and now let's let's see what we went what we did back on the other part. Alright, it's not bad. Let's see what let's see what that sounds like in context. Alright, 
there there was a shred fest moment there. <laughs> so I was like, I don't know what to play. So uh, I do like that. I do like that. So if I need to replay it just a little bit better, I can. But I do like the the idea. So I'm gonna keep that. So da 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 da. da. Then does like this little bluesy thing. All right, let's see what this part does. Okay, I do like that. That's pretty cool. Let's see what this part does. All right, that's kind of neat. Let's see. So we're kind of walking up here. And then we're doing on the end of this, we'll go back to the top one. All right, this would be interesting. So really we're, we're keeping most of the first take and then we're just kind of blending in other parts that maybe fit a little bit better. So let's listen to it now. Oh shoot, what was, what was that part? Was it this one? There you go, so it was the end of the second take that had that cool high ringing out note. All right, here we go, let's listen again. Okay, I like that. That sounds really cool. So now I can actually learn the solo and maybe play it a little bit better. But, you know, I think this one little part right here could be slightly better. Let's just hear it. So we got... Um, See what it does. So, all right, so I bent up to the minor six. All right, I like that. So, all right, so I can, I got a few different choices of inflection. So I can bend up to this note and then go. Oh, that's butter. All right, here we go. All right, 
I like that. I am going to try and redo just this one little section here. So I'm actually going to go in and just do a timeline selection. Up to this point. So that way it's only going to record that one little part. And I don't have to worry about starting and stopping at a certain time in the song. So, but it is going to give me two measures of pre-roll. So check this out. Ow! All right, sweet. Check it out. See the other part before. All right, not bad. Let me listen to this part again. No, there's this one. Do that one more time. We'll do it one more time. So we're starting on. All right, here we go. Now, see, I, I overshot the note. Here we go. Here we go. Let's listen to the whole shebang. Here, solo. Ah! Oh. That is pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Boot up, boot up, Where am I? At? So then it goes to the breakdown. I'll pull that out a little bit. All right. I feel like that could. That could be a little bit better. Let's just, let's listen to that part here. All right, I'm gonna cheat right here. Don't say anything though, okay? So watch. I can take this and I can slide it on over to there. Let me blend this in a little bit. Check this out. All right, so that's another trick that I do. It's like, all right, I could totally go out and go back and play that again. But if I can just take a note or like a little section and just bump it over a little bit, just to make it feel right in the pocket, then that's what I'll do. See, because what I was hearing is that that snare hit right there, or the kick and snare, it wasn't hitting right on the beat. So I wanna make sure that it's, it's feeling right in the pocket. So I'm just gonna slide that over a little bit more and check this out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo. I am flying high now, baby. And 
that's how you do a solo. <laughs> Boom. Love it. That was great. All right, cool. Um, so yeah, let me flip this back around and that's how I do a solo folks. So thanks for watching. I will probably save this video and post it to YouTube as well, just cause it's fun and I might as well make some content while also working at the same time. So I have a very bad habit of just coming down and playing guitar just for no reason. And then I'm like, hey, I actually should be doing some recording right now. And then I just waste a lot of time. So um, this is my way of staying on, staying focused, staying on track, and being more accountable to, uh, you know, to my clients, to myself, to my family, and not just wasting a lot of time here in the studio, which I tend to do. So um, love playing guitar, want to do it all the time, but you also got to get things done as well so thanks for watching guys i am dr mcfarland i will see you in the next video keep rocking